Hello and welcome to session number two, where we will further explore some um, more useful concepts of classic VI text editor. Uh, in uh, the last session I've introduced some uh, basic modes of operation, command mode, including X mode, and um, insert mode, uh, insert mode, entering with the I key, leaving with the escape key. Um, now we will do some um, more stuff in the command mode. For that purpose I have a little separate window up here where I will demonstrate what I am actually typing in command mode because one problem with this sort of presentation is that you cannot see what I'm actually typing, right? So I will type it here instead and then apply it to this window. Um, and I will now simply introduce you to some useful command mode commands. Um, command mode, again, is not used to type actual text. Anything that is typed is taken as a command. What commands are there? Well, what commands would there be? And that's an actually it's an interesting question because maybe if you are new to VI and all that stuff, then you expect an editor to always behave in the same way and you don't even understand what a command mode is good for. Okay, so you've seen last session's X commands which are a bit awkward and a bit aged and um, you do not know exactly what they are good for. Um, that's right. Um, why bother with it? <coughs> the advantage of having an entire mode of operation to issue commands to the text editor is that this mode of operation can become very powerful. You can do lots of complicated transformations with a text file um, using maybe only a few well-placed commands. Um, we will not get into depth, depth immediately. Instead, we will introduce some very basic stuff that you can use in everyday text editing. Like, for example, what I am doing all the time here while I'm showing this to you, without explaining to you how I do it, is deleting lines. Sometimes I type something, like for example here. Oh, and then I don't like this here. Now, how did I delete that word? I didn't like that word. Didn't I write it something like this? Hmm. And then I moved to the top of the word, the beginning of the word. And then I typed this. I typed DW, which means delete word. If I execute that here, the word is deleted. Hmm. And then, of course, I huh, entered insert mode again and typed the proper word, the corrected word. So, DW deletes everything that is from the cursor on to the end of the word, where the end of the word is either a blank or the end of line, or a so-called word separating character, like this here, interpunctuation. Hmm. Sounds useful. Now I can delete words using DW. Interesting. Hey, and what am I doing here? I did want to keep the hello, but I accidentally deleted it. And then I undone it. I deleted it and I've undone it. In classic VI you have the single step of undo. 
terrible, right? But that's classic VI for you. People back then were happy to have at least one undo, and if one undo was all they had got, they were thankful for it and didn't think it too little, too few steps of undo. <laughs> so classic VI gives us one undo. We can undo one thing. If we accident accidentally um, mess up entire steps of operations where we cannot undo anymore, uh, then we have to, unfortunately, force quit. We messed up and restore. And there it is, back in its former state, where we saved at last exit. Hmm. So how do I undo? By pressing the U key. U for undo. That's easy to remember. So DW, delete word, U, undo that last operation. Hmm. That's nice. What if I want to delete two words? Well, DW, DW, of course. Now I can only undo this. That's a bit sad. Maybe it's better if I delete them all at once. But how can I do that? And here comes a peculiarity of the command mode as I am using it now. D is the command delete. W is what is affected by that command, a word. But I can also say two words, D, two, W. Hmm, huh. let's try. Yeah, deleted two words. And if I undo that, I get the entire step undone and I have my text back again. So, um, if working in Classic VI, it's better to have one operation doing as much of the work as possible because I can still undo that. If I have to make multiple actions, I cannot undo all but the last one. Hmm, D2W, okay. Can I also copy and paste that way? Well, while deletion is performed by the D command, copying is performed by the Y command. Y is actually the abbreviation of to yank, which is a rather ancient terminology for copying. Something is yanked into the copy buffer. And later on it's pasted. That's what the command P is for. Well, the Y for yank does not do much by itself. I also have to tell it what to yank. For example, yank two words. Now, let's try that. I am placed at the beginning of the two words insert and mode. I execute yank two words. Now I go somewhere else and paste. And oh, voila! Those two words appear from the copy buffer. Now, um, something's missing here. This won't compile as a C program. This should be a comment too. Actually, I undo this. This should be an exact copy of this line. I want to introduce an exact duplicate of this line. Okay, to um, copy an entire line, or yank it, I can use the command y, y. Since it's an operation that is often used, it has received this easy to remember abbreviation. Yank double means yank the entire line. Okay, let's try. I'm going to this line. I'm executing y, y. Okay, now I'm going here and I execute p. Uh -huh. The line gets appended, the line gets inserted after the line where I am currently. This is what P does. 
Okay, that's interesting. I can do that many times as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, maybe that wasn't so good. Because now I can only undo this. How do I delete all these pesky lines here? I mean, that was just an experiment. I want to get rid of them. Well, there is a command for deleting entire lines as well. And as you maybe have guessed, it's DD. Again, it's an often used operation. And um, thus it got this easy to remember abbreviation. Two times D means delete the entire line. D followed by some interval, some affected range specification means delete something, in this case two words, and DD simply means delete the entire line. But we want to delete more than a single line. We want to delete one, two, three, four, five lines. This can also be done. I have to say 5DD. Let's try. <laughs> 